Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Today I'm going to teach you how to make your Star Citizen account more secure with MFA. So what is MFA? MFA is multi-factor authentication and is a two-step verification process as an additional security feature designed to prevent people or anyone really accessing or using your account even if they know your password. Basically, you get a verification code to your email or mobile, based on your preference, that you will need to put in after you've put your password in. Now, it isn't extra annoying because you can make the system trust your device for any length of time. You can make it just for that session. So if you're just using a computer in a cyber cafe, for example, you just select just for this session, or you can make it for a whole year, for example, if it's your PC at home. The idea is that it improves your account security by only trusting devices that you've told it to trust. Do you need it though? No, you don't actually need it, but the extra level of security it provides with only a tiny bit of extra effort is worth it. And if you've got thousands, hundreds, or even just dozens of dollars worth of ships on your account, it's, it's so simple and easy to do. I, I do think it's worth it. You can remove it at any time as well. It's just that extra level of security does make it harder for people to hack your accounts. And if you're planning to play Star Citizen for long periods of time, it's going to be hassle if someone does hack your account or someone locks you out somehow. So how do you set it up? It's actually pretty damn simple. Uh, you go into your account, log in as you would normally. Then when you go to settings in my account on the RSI website, there's a new tab here, security. Click on that, and then you'll be met by this screen, the security account screen. Um, and then all you need to do is go down to activate two-step authentication and choose your medium of authentication that you wish to use. So uh, I prefer email because I constantly lose my phone, and the phone that I do have has become some sort of weird Pokedex. So let's uh, use email, enter two-step authentication. So you enter your email address here, uh, and then you will be asked for the code that has just been emailed to you. Uh, and then you can name the device that I'm on currently. So uh, my PC. And then you can tell it to trust your device for a certain length of time. So um, just this session only. So if you're at a cyber cafe or on someone else's device, that's a good idea. Um, or up to a year. Um, I'm going to put mine to a year. I'm just going to grab my code. And we can see that we are now enabled for two-step authentication, uh, which is good, and our computer has been trusted. I'm not going to show you my IP address, which is below that. Um, so here we're about to see if there are any uh, other devices that have connected to your account, uh, and which ones you currently have. You can remove them as well. Uh, you can also get these backup codes. Now these backup codes are one-time use codes uh, that you can print out or save to a text document in case you don't have access to your email or phone. Uh, they are very useful if you, know, you are, again, traveling or going to an event or convention or something like that. And it's really simple to remove the authentication process. Uh, all you need to do Let's click on the X, confirm, and then you no longer have the two-step authentication. Now, after you log into Star Citizen, you will be given this screen, the two-step authentication process. Uh, you put in the authentication code that you will be emailed, uh, and then you uh, name your device like you did on the website, and then you can trust that device for as long as you want. So for me, this will be the system that I'm playing Star Citizen on. Um, so uh, it will be uh, uh, my my actual PC, my PC or something like that. And then you put your authentication code in and then authenticate and it will trust your device so you don't have to do this process again until that uh, amount of time has ended. Anyway, guys, I hope that was helpful. I find MFA really important. Multi-factor authentication is just extra security, but because of the value of some people's ships and the amount I'll be playing possibly on my Star Citizen account, it is definitely worthwhile, especially for me. And just for that extra little bit of hassle, you're going to get a lot more security. And I think that's really important. But please tell me what you think of MFA. Do you think it's important? Do you think it's great? Do you think it's pointless? Are you really super secure with your passwords anyway? That sort of stuff. If you'd like also a chance to win a Drake Dragonfly, just comment on any of our Star Citizen videos throughout the month of July and if it's not July anymore we're almost certain to have a very similar based starship giveaway and um, you don't need to be subscribed but check out our channel um, check out some more videos and find out what giveaway we've currently got uh, also don't forget to like and subscribe because it genuinely does help me and I will see you in the verse